Welcome, kids. I'm so excited to continue our safari adventure with you. Do you know what the largest animal roaming the earth today? Well, before we do, let's get off our seats and sing praises to God. Don't you think you want to say hi to our M-Kids before you spill the beans? Oops, sorry! Hello, M-Kids! I hope you're as excited as me for today's lesson. Cherie, now can I say what the animal is? Yes, you can. It's an elephant! That's correct! Elephants are the biggest creatures living on land today. They have so much strength, they can pull a car, and they use their trunks for everything, for eating, cleaning, and clearing obstacles out of their parts. They also have very good memories. If only I had a memory like them, I would pass all my tests. You're quite right there, Matthew. The saying goes, an elephant never forgets. What were we talking about? An elephant! Oh, sorry, I forgot. As much as I would like to remember everything, there are some things I would like to forget. Like when I walked into the sliding door in front of the whole class. <laughs> That's what I wanted to forget. I'm sorry, it was funny, but you're right. 
There are many things I would certainly like to forget, especially things that were embarrassing and all the poor decisions I made that I would like to leave in the past. You know, Shri, this reminds me of a story in the Bible. Yes, it does, Matt. It's a story of our very own Jesus and a woman that just wanted to forget her past. Here's a video for you to watch, M Kids. Stories of the Bible Jesus and the Sinful Woman. This is Jesus. Hey, oh! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! There were a group of Jewish leaders called the Pharisees who heard Jesus speak often. One of the Pharisees, named Simon, asked Jesus to have dinner with him. Come on over. Oh, okay. Sounds good. So Jesus went over to his house, and a certain sinful woman heard that he was eating there. She went to the house and brought a jar filled with expensive perfume. She kneeled at Jesus' feet and cried. Her tears fell on his feet and she wiped them with her hair. She kissed his feet and put the perfume on them. Simon saw this and said to himself, Yeah. If this man really were a prophet, he'd know what kind of woman is touching him. She's a sinner. Blah. Then Jesus said, Simon, I have something to say to you. Ah, uh, okay. And he told him this story. A man loaned money to two people, 500 pieces of silver to one, Thank you. and 50 pieces to the other. Yeah, thanks. Oh, hello again. But neither of them could repay him. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. So he kindly forgave them both. Eh, that's okay. Canceling their debts. Who do you suppose loved him more after that? Simon said that the one who owed him more loved him more. Jesus said, Yep. That's right. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Look at this woman kneeling here. When I entered your home, you didn't offer me water or wash the dust off my feet, but she has washed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. I tell you, her sins, and there are many, have been forgiven, so she has shown me much love. But a person who is forgiven little shows only little love. Then Jesus said to the woman, your sins are forgiven. The men at the table said among themselves, who is this man? that he goes around forgiving sins. And Jesus said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Shri, do you think if Jesus was living in our time, he would have done the same thing for us? Well, of course he would. Jesus loves us all the same, and he is the only one that is sinless and can actually judge us. That's why when we ask for forgiveness, all our sins are forgotten. The woman brought before Jesus was a sinful person, a person who had made many mistakes in her life. But when Jesus was asked to condemn her sins, he wrote in the dirt. Some people say that he wrote the sins of the men and women in the crowd, the things her accusers had done. If that's true, we can certainly understand why they dropped their stories and walked away. But what happened next? Well, Jesus forgave the woman. Not only did he forgive, he forgot. Scripture tells us that as far as the east is from the west, that is how far he removes our sins from our memory. If you travel north, you will eventually reach the North Pole. 
and start going south. But if you travel east, you will never end up going west. When God forgives, He forgets. He forgets forever. Does this mean I can make the same mistakes again, even after I'm forgiven? No way! If you make a mistake, you have to learn from it, not do it all over again. God does forgive you, but you have to learn from every mistake and sin that you make. Being forgiven by God means we can forgive ourselves too. We can let go of our mistakes knowing that God has forgiven us and we can commit ourselves to doing better. We do not need to beat ourselves over the back to punish ourselves for what we did. Jesus has already taken our punishment upon himself. Being forgiven also means that God does not see us as sinners. He sees us as his children, bought with the blood of Jesus. He sees potential in our lives to do great things. God wants to use us to share the gospel with others. He wants to use us to teach other people so that he can forgive and forget their sins. God wants his people to be people he can use to bring forgiveness to the whole entire world. We are all imperfect, but we mess up. But just because we mess up doesn't mean we have to give up. Ask Jesus to come into your heart. Ask him to forgive your sins. Jesus will forgive and forget, and he will give you a new life so you can share his forgiveness with others. Wow, I can't wait to share this with my friends. I think everyone wants their mistakes to be forgiven and then to feel so much love after that. Okay, I'm going to go now. Wait! Can we at least say goodbye to our M-Kids? Sure. Bye, M-Kids. Don't forget to read your Bible and pray every day so you'll grow, grow, grow. Bye, M-Kids.